I don't wanna know about evil. Only wanna know about love. I don't wanna know about evil. Only wanna know about love. Sometimes get so hard to listen. Hard for us to use our eyes and all around the goal is glistening. Making sure it keeps us down to size. And I don't wanna know about evil. Only wanna know about love. I don't wanna know about evil. Only wanna know. Waiting for the planes to tumble Waiting for the towns to fall I'm waiting for the cities to crumble Waiting till I see you crawl I'm waiting for the planes to tumble Waiting till I see you crawl I don't wanna know about evil Only wanna know about love I don't wanna know about evil Only wanna know about love Sometimes get so hard to listen Hard for us to use our eyes And all around the gold is glistening Making sure it keeps us hypnotized I don't wanna know about evil Only wanna know about love I don't wanna know about evil Only wanna know I don't wanna know about evil Only wanna know about love Morning everybody I found myself reflecting on all of this You know, I went from kind of flippant and glib to serious really quickly and I noticed how fear kind of took hold and I noticed that I remembered at these times that if individuals or societies fall foul or are brought to their knees, what is the, what is the point? What is the possibility? And I don't mean to be here in like going all love and light and pretending this is all, all perfect and not to be taken seriously or not to be brought with the right amount of seriousness and um, the right amount of care. But I've been struggling to articulate to myself what's being called for in my response. And I realized and I remembered, you know, that, you know, the hero's journey is well documented. Arguably, you know, that's our path, that's our purpose. The reason why we love story and the reason why some stories are told over and over and over again, the really good stories, are about man and woman's our individual's journey. Any individual, however they identify his journey towards freedom, to move from egotism, to move from fear, to move from proprietorialism, to move from territorialism, to move from hoarding and grabbing and to step out from the ordinary world. And you know, so on the hero's journey, we are invited out from the ordinary kingdom and usually the hero decides to step into the magical kingdom 
for glory. They uh, want interest and want fame and recognition and to discover their powers for their own edification. And the, the beauty of the journey usually is that one moment in the hero's story, they are bested and brought to their knees. And um, it's at that time that they really come to understand what's actually important and what's actually valuable. And in that place, what's burnt away from them is all those old ideas that have been holding them back and causing trouble in their life and in, in, in the world at large. And so this is the heroic moment where the hero, against all odds, stands up and is no longer in it for themselves. They're actually willing to die for the greater good. They're actually willing to do what's right to, <clears throat> to serve. And that's the bit in film, that's the bit in story that inspires us and gets us excited. That's the ennoblement moment. That is the time when we realize. And that is when we move from the warrior to the sovereign. And this is a calling for us to move to our sovereignty. This is not about corona. This is about coronation. This is about coronation. This is about us finding inside ourselves. Where is our sovereignty? And with that, that is kindness for our people. That is not the warrior defending and fighting and clawing. That is about loving and kindness and compassion and most importantly, generosity. There are those in need and there are those that have and those that do not have and it could get worse and it is time for us to, to, to change how we're working. You know, the time the castle opens its gates and lets those people come and gives them blanket and gives them food. This is those moments. This is our blitz. This is our time to deeply, deeply come together, to connect online and to share our gift service in support, to think to ourselves, not what is Corona doing for me, but what can I do for the coronation of me and my people? What can I do to help? What can I do to serve? The King and Queen are interested in the long-term game. This is not about short-term survival. This is an opportunity for hibernation. This is an opportunity for re valuing our values yeah this is the winter of our soul and in winter we hunker down we've harvested pickled our vegetables we have to make it through the dark hours and it is in these times that we reflect on what are we planting for next year for next season and this is not about how we're going to do three months from now this is what society are we rebuilding for 500 years from now let this define us let this refine us let us be called into a new era, a new chapter, where the old geopolitical principles are changed, where our understanding of what it is to travel and why we do, what are our needs, and how can we find inside ourselves everything that we seek externally, and how can we truly come together to share our gifts in honour of humanity and service. And so to that end, I am reducing all of my fees uh, by two thirds. Um, I was about to run a container for six weeks, which cost three hundred pounds, and it was about kind of um, uh, yeah your direct connection uh, with the universe and how that might impact on your ability to earn an abundance and um, giving people a, a greater sense of faith and surrender. But now for me, I want it to be about health and happiness and this sovereign surrender, deepening your spiritual connection. But you, you this time. When my clients go into fear, when something bad has happened, this is an incredibly rich opportunity for them. This is an incredibly rich opportunity for them to look at where else they're afraid. You know, when we are wobbled, the universe will wobble us, will shake us, will press us to see. And this is a rich time to feel fear, not to avoid it, not to go all love and light and spiritual bypass on it, to, but actually to recognize this is serious and it's scary and that fear, as opposed to wallowing in it. And then, you know, increasing the cortisol in your system, which, you know, compromises your immunity. It is about putting loving arms around the fear and tracking in your body. Where else have I been afraid? What is unresolved in me? In this hibernation, do not seek solace in marathon binges of Netflix. Do that a little bit, but do marathon binges on your own self-examination. Socrates says a life unexamined is no life at all because until we understand what drives us, until we understand what motivates us, and until we look at the values that define our reality, then happiness is 
fleeting at best. And so that I, um, yeah, I'm reducing all my fees by two thirds. That container was going to be uh, 300 pounds, but I'm now changing it. I'll be contacting everybody that signed up for that. If you're watching that, that it's changing. Um, if you've already paid, I will be reimbursing you. Um, because actually it's just going to be 50 pounds now and it's going to go for two months and it is going to be about coming together and finding our sovereignty and finding our heart and finding our unconditional love and so um, if you want to join that it would be a great privilege to journey with you and journey with some amazing people that want to use this corona for us to move towards our coronation I also have a network of amazing, amazing therapists that I've trained that are all reducing their fees. And so that if you want to work with other people, I can make recommendations. And so please be safe where possible. Stay in. Look after yourselves. Take this seriously. But use this time to recalibrate and to bring more love and light to your life and the lives of everyone you know. So wishing you the very 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 best and I'll be doing regular lives to do what I can to support you along your journey so sending you so much love